How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the maintenance cost on our 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. Um, here it is behind me and we have put a lot of miles on this car. It has almost 18,000 miles and I wanted to talk about the maintenance cost compared to uh, some of the other cars here, um, the uh, gasoline engine cars. Um, but uh, these are amazing, but today we're going to focus specifically on the Mach-E. Let me get inside the car here. And as you can see, 17,920 miles. It's been less than a year. This is my wife's daily driver, so she does put a lot of miles on this car. Um, I mean, just the amount of money that we've saved on gas is absolutely insane. Um, so definitely worth the cost if you drive a lot. But in this video specifically, I wanted to talk about what the maintenance costs are on this car after almost 18,000 miles. Okay, so here's the deal. This is a very complicated car. It has a lot of moving parts. We've had to change the engine oil. This car takes 10 quarts of oil because this is a V12 engine. Um, we've had to change the transmission oil. We've had to change the alternator. Uh, there are so many moving parts on this car. Now, obviously, you guys know I'm just kidding because this car literally has no moving parts. Like, in regards to, you know, alternator, belts, transmission, that kind of stuff, this car has none of that. So, it's absolutely amazing. So, for real this time, let me break down the costs of what this car has cost in maintenance. The first point I want to touch on is brakes. So now this car is a very heavy car and it is very fun to put your foot and uh, mash it on the throttle um, and go really fast. So because of that, you know, you would expect brakes to wear out sooner than on a regular, you know, non instant torque car. But guess what? This has the regenerative braking and um, if you drive with the with the one pedal drive or regenerative braking on um, it saves your 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 brakes you know you're using that energy and putting it back into the battery and you're saving your brakes so why wouldn't you now it is a little bit funky going from a regular like gasoline car like when i drive one of my other cars and i get in this car i honestly usually drive with the one pedal drive off my wife loves the one pedal drive so she keeps it on but i personally do not like it because switching from car to car uh, when I'm driving the F-150 or the 2001 Mustang, um, that's stick shift, and then I get into this car and the one pedal drive, I don't know, it just takes a little bit of getting used to it, and um, I'd rather just drive with it off. But um, my wife, which is the primary driver of the Mach-E, uh, she drives with the one pedal drive on. So honestly, I would not doubt that this car probably won't need its brakes changed for at least 100,000 miles. Now, let me know if you have a Mach-E or a Tesla or another EV, let me know how long it took you to get your uh, brakes changed, um, if at all, because I'm sure there's you know Teslas and other EVs out there that have been out longer than the Mach-E, and they've probably never had their brakes changed because with the one pedal drive, you don't need to use your brakes, so they're not gonna wear out. Now, the next maintenance cost on the Ford Mustang Mach-E is the cabin air filter. So usually when you get an oil change, you know, they check your cabin air filter and they try to price gouge you and, you know, sell you a, a $10 filter um, for, you know, 50, 60 bucks. Uh, but they recommend, Ford recommends changing these every 20,000 miles since there's no, um, you know, oil change uh, service interval uh, so that they can't price gouge you for it. Um, but I, uh, I don't know, it, they have like a little asterisk next to it and they say it depends on the conditions of you know where you drive through like do you drive through the desert and that you know you're inhaling dust all all day and stuff like that or are you you know do you drive somewhere that isn't super dusty or super dirty it might you know you might be able to stretch your cabin air filter to 30 or 40,000 miles who knows but uh ford recommends doing that at 20,000 miles uh super cheap i mean you can get a uh air filter for super cheap so it's not a it's not something that i would uh see as a as a super huge cost i have not gotten to the twenty thousand miles we're at almost eighteen thousand miles so seventeen thousand nine hundred and twenty uh we'll probably hit the twenty thousand mile mark soon um but i honestly will probably just buy a you know twenty dollar thirty dollar filter and just replace it myself but in regards to that cost 
right now, zero dollars. So the next maintenance cost on the Ford Mustang Mach-E, and this one might surprise you, but it is tire rotations. Um, so because of the fact that uh, there is no oil changes, they can't price gouge you for tire rotations. Now, <clears throat> you do want to rotate your tires because then they're not going to wear out evenly um, and you might have to change them uh, prematurely before you're, you actually have to if you don't do your tire rotations. Now, um, I think it's like recommended like every 7,500 miles or something like that. Uh, this car has almost 18,000 miles. Um, I really, to be honest, haven't inspected the tires recently, so no, I don't know how much... Um, you know life they have left i know at the dealerships they have like the little uh tread wear caliper and all that stuff that they can measure it so next time i take it to the dealership i'll maybe do a little video and uh see how the tires are wearing um if anybody has a mock e with a lot more miles i know there is some people out there that probably have already hit the uh you know 50,000 mile mark in their Mach-E's if they drive a lot and they were one of the earlier people to get their Mach-E's so if you have one of the early Mach-E's with a lot of miles let us know how your tires are doing in the comments below because I am curious to see how long these tires last because number one people say you know yes electric cars are heavier because they have uh, you know the big heavy battery packs so you know that's gonna cause increased tire wear uh, but I don't know exactly how long these are gonna last I will keep you guys posted but if anyone has a Mach-E with a lot of mileage on it let me know in the comments below how are your tires doing now regarding the tires and the tire wear um, yes these cars are heavier and one thing I've loved to do with this car because I was actually talking to a guy that had a Mustang Mach-E um, at a uh, charging station, we were doing a, a road trip and you know, you see another Mustang Mach-E, you immediately go over and start talking about it because chances are you're an enthusiast of these cars if you own one, obviously. Um, so whatever, we were talking and he was saying how like he autocrossed his Mach-E and it was destroying car, you know, sports cars uh, because of that instant torque, um, even though it's a heavy car. Um, it was it was doing a lot better than other car you know sports cars because of that instant torque and the electric motors um and i'm sure that puts extra wear on the tires and brakes and all that stuff but um i would love to autocross my maki um i actually have to look and see if there's any events coming up soon because i would love to autocross this car i'm sure it's a blast with the uh regenerative braking the one pedal drive and the uh instant torque i'm sure it's a blast to drive in the autocross all right so the next maintenance cost on the mach -E, and this one is super super expensive one of the most expensive uh fluids known to man and that is windshield wiper fluid i know i'm just kidding you can get a bottle for like three four bucks i mean now with inflation maybe five six bucks um but yeah windshield wiper fluid is the only fluid in the entire car in the entire Mach-E only windshield wiper fluid so that is um, I guess the most expensive I mean I haven't changed the cabin air filter so I guess that would be the most expensive maintenance item on this list is uh, three dollars for a bottle you know a gallon of windshield wiper fluid and I've probably gone through I, I don't know maybe one bottle so yeah like three four bucks uh, it's it's I mean this car, you know breaks the bank when it comes to maintenance as you can clearly see Oh, and I forgot about one other fluid my blinker fluid You know that thing that uh, the BMW drivers never have to change because they never use their blinkers Blinker fluid is very important very important fluid um, There is none of that in the Mach-E. So that's another plus so there you guys have it Those are the maintenance costs on a Ford Mustang Mach-E um, are you surprised? Because I'm not. I mean, EVs, any Tesla owner or anything like that will tell you EVs require like no maintenance, no different with the Mach-E. Um, for you guys that are saying, oh, Carlos, but what about the batteries? When the batteries go bad, you know, you're going to be paying $20,000 to replace them. Well, guess what? You have an eight year or 100,000 mile warranty on these batteries. Am I keeping this car? For the next eight years um i don't know but guess what if something happens in that time frame ford will replace the batteries so i'm not worried about that now these are just running cost maintenance costs that i'm talking about specifically but yeah and for you guys that are saying oh the batteries and you know evs and all that technology um is garbage and the batteries are gonna degrade and you're gonna be you know bankrupt from paying for these new batteries 
that's what the warranty is for so i am not worried about that but that is a zero charge cost um if the batteries do go bad in the next eight years because they're going to be covered under warranty and ford knows um that people are scared of these batteries and the horror stories of how much they are so yes they have a good warranty so i that is not something i am worried about um but just to summarize and add it up basically tire rotations you can do that at home just jack up the car rotate the tires you can do it yourself zero cost the most expensive maintenance item as i just mentioned on this car was windshield wiper fluid three dollars for a gallon that is all i've paid in maintenance for my 2001 ford mustang mach-e after 17,920 miles isn't that amazing like that is pretty cool and some people might say yes you know you have zero maintenance on a new gasoline vehicle as well um and probably you're really going to be able to see the difference um in the maintenance costs as these cars um get more miles compared to a high mile gasoline car that you know things are actually going to start having more wear and tear that you have to replace um but i mean yeah lower miles gas cars sure they're they're fine and you know you have warranty and everything but higher mileage i feel like these cars are you know they're really going to shine in regards to maintenance costs because there is none um so there you guys have it let me know in the comments below what you think of the maintenance costs on the mustang mach e's or on in ev evs in general um it's really exciting there's so many new evs coming out especially suvs trucks all this stuff you know dodge is coming out with the new dodge ram ev uh chevy silverado ev is coming out we already have the hummer um the cyber truck hopefully sometime in the future will come out i have a deposit on that so maybe in like the next 10 years uh i'll be able to get one elon musk if you're listening give me a cyber truck i would love one um hopefully before i turn like 50 years old uh so hopefully that can get released soon but um yeah there is a lot of exciting evs coming out so let me know what you guys think in the comments about the maki -E or any ev in general what you guys think of them um but this car has been amazing we love it um i have another one on order and that one has a really cool spec in regards to the colors and everything i'm not gonna say too much but you'll have to subscribe and make sure you uh watch out for that car when it comes to the channel but thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one